Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, May 22, 2015. This week on Trend, creating ombre colored word art in Photoshop and Elements. Everything is coming up ombre, from fashions to hair color and even wedding cakes. Ombre refers to coloring that is graduated in saturation or tone. At one end the color is very pale and at the other end the color is deeper with the coloring between shaded from pale to dark. Photoshop has a tool that makes creating this look simple and easy. Here's how to apply an ombre color scheme to word art. Begin by opening the word art image of your choice. Create a new layer by clicking the create a new layer icon in the layers panel. It looks like a square with a turned up corner. It will either be located at the top or the bottom of the layers panel depending on your software. When you do this you'll see that the software has created a new transparent layer above your word art layer. Next choose your colors. Click the foreground color chip which is the top left chip at the bottom of the tools panel on the left side of your screen. This brings up the color picker. Choose a color family from the rainbow bar. So I might want to choose green as my color scheme. And to do that I'll click in the green section of the rainbow. Then click on a light color in your selected color family. So I'll go up here to the top and I'll pick a very light green. And then click OK. Next click on the background color chip, that's the one under the foreground color chip. When the color picker populates, move your cursor over to your foreground color chip and click. This pulls up the color family that you selected in the last step. Now select a dark tone, I'll get a really dark green here, and then click OK. Now let's get the gradient tool. In some versions of Photoshop, the gradient tool shares a spot on the toolbar with the paint bucket tool. Just click and hold the paint bucket and select the gradient tool. In the options bar at the top or the bottom of your screen, choose foreground to background. It's going to be the very first gradient in the gradient picker. Click on the linear gradient icon, it's usually the first one and leave your mode set to normal and opacity to 100%. Create the gradient effect by clicking near the top of the document and dragging downward. When you release, the layer will be filled with the ombre color scheme. Now the gradient can also be created from bottom to top or from side to side if you prefer to have it moving in that direction. But for the sample, I'll go ahead and drag from top to bottom. Now clip the ombre layer and the word art together by pressing Control alt g that's on a Mac system, Command-Option-G, if you're in Photoshop. Now if you're working in Elements, you'll press Control g or on a Mac system, Command-G. Next, press Control e or on a Mac system command E to merge the gradient and the word art layer together. Now you'll see in the layers panel we just have one layer. Use the move tool to drag the ombre word art onto your scrapbooking document. Now your scrapbooks can be as trendy as your fashions. Try this technique on brush images, digital stamps, masks, paint, and other PNG page elements for a fresh and fun look. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.